Okay, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to take a look at how we can dual boot Windows 7 with Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now, Microsoft have just released the Consumer Preview for Windows 8, so we're going to take a look at how we do that. First of all, to actually go and download Windows 8, if you go to windows.microsoft.com and you'll see here they've got the future of Windows and we can click on Learn More. This is going to open up the Windows 8 Consumer Preview web page and then we click on get it now and for this there's a couple of ways of installing but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the the disk so what you have to do is go down to ISO image click on that and then select your language and pick out the 64-bit or the 32-bit if you're not sure which one you need or which one your computer can run the 32-bit will run on most things and it'll do a t check anyway so you'll also need the product key underneath there so make a note of the product key now once you've done that I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. So you'll see here this is my computer's hard drive set up. So I've got Windows 7 on one partition, which I'm booting from now. I've also got a 30 gig partition with nothing on it at the moment that I've labelled Windows 8. This is where we're going to install the consumer preview. So I've burnt the disk and I'll put a link to a video showing you how to do the uh, ISO. So now I've got the disk in the drawer. I'm going to restart this computer. And at restart, I'm going to tap escape to bring up the boot menu. So what I'm going to do is use the cursor. If if you can't do that on your computer, because some are different, uh, if if the escape key doesn't work, it doesn't bring the menu up. I'll put a link in to another video that shows you how to change your BIOS settings. So use the cursor arrows down, select CD-ROM, press any key to boot from DVD, and then the installation is going to begin. Now I'm going to pause the video at certain times just to try and cut down on the size of this video and just concentrate on the main parts of the installation. Okay, now we come to our first selection menu. I'm going to select the time and currency. I'm in the UK. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click on install now. That's going to start the setup. Okay, now we're going to have to put the product key in. Now this is the product key that you copied as you were downloading your ISO image. Okay, so once you put your product key in, click next. Agree to the license after you've read through it. Click next. Okay, so if we were going to replace Windows 7 with Windows 8, we'd go on the upgrade. We're not. We're going to dual boot. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the custom. That's going to bring up a list of hard drives that we've got on our machine. And you'll see that we've got the Win 7. That's the one that's booting Windows 7. And we've got Win 8, so we'll select Windows 8. You can go to Drive Options if you like and format the drive. Click OK. This drive was already formatted, so... Okay, so once you've selected the drive, select Next, and the installation is going to begin. It's going to start installing the files, and I'll pause the video and we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so now I've got through that part of the installation. Windows is going to restart. I can let that run down or just hit Restart. At that boot menu there, just let that boot through to the Windows 8. No need to touch anything. It is now just going to get the computer ready to go. And the computer is going to restart again. Again, we're going to be offered the boot menu. When that comes up, just let it boot through to Windows 8. Okay, we've got the boot menu. Now we can just let that timer count down, or we can select Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Okay, so now we're going to have to go through a few settings. Give the PC a name. You can choose a background colour. Um, go with the purple or go with the. Well, take your pick. I'll click next. This is going to go through some of the settings. Use Express. Okay, at this point, you're going to be asked to sign into your PC with your Windows or Xbox Live account. If you haven't got one, you can set up a new email here. I have, so I'm just going to input that. So once you put your email in, click next. That's just going to help with setting Windows up. It's going to ask for a password. Put your password in, click next. We've now changed the name to uh, Microsoft account, Xbox Live, Windows Live. It's now going to ask for some security verification info. So once you put those details in, click next. It's now going to create the account. Okay, so once the installation is done, you'll be now at the Metro Start screen. 
this is where all the apps are going to be on the Windows 8. I'm going to go into detail with this with some different videos, I'm not going to cover it all here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to restart this computer and just run you through the, the boot up. We've got Windows 7 and Windows 8. Um, now to restart this, if you could go down to the bottom right and then up, you'll see settings. And then if you click on power and then click on restart, that's going to restart the computer. And we'll just make sure that the boot's all going to work OK. OK, we're going to select Windows 8. And that's going to start up now on the lock screen. Now, if you hit any key on your keyboard, that's going to take you to the login, put in the password, hit enter, and we're back on his desktop. So that's how we do boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. And I'd like to thank you for watching.